Hello, I'm Tom and welcome to this video. In today's video, I'm gonna go over my top three mistakes that I've made when doing body weight training. I'm also gonna go over how you can avoid them so you can make a much faster progression than what I did. So mistake number one is that I had a bad diet. Now, when I first started training, I was told that you had to consume a lot of food in order to put on weight to get stronger and to build muscle, which is true to a point. However, I just started consuming, consuming, thinking just need to eat loads of protein and having a huge amount of calories and that would then get me the results that I wanted. And in actual fact, I was completely wrong. You need to need to need to need to track your calories, track your protein, track your carbohydrates, track your fats. It is so important that you know exactly what you're putting into your body so that you can make the adjustments if it's not working for you. If you are getting fat, you've got a fat face and you look stupid, then you know that you should reduce your calories in order to get the body, the physique and the shape that you want. If you are the opposite and you're becoming all skinny and scrawny and you're getting weak in the gym, then you know you should up your calories, have more protein, have more carbohydrates. Make sure that you're having the fuel your body needs in order to get the results you want. So mistake number one is having a bad diet and not tracking my diet. And the way you avoid that is to understand what you need for your body type, for your height, for your current weight, and where you want to get to and then track it so that you can make the adjustments appropriately. Mistake number two is that I was trying to do too much too soon. And really you need to be patient when it comes to body weight training. You need to start at the difficulty that is suitable for your strength right now. So there's no point in trying to do an exercise where you can barely hold the exercise or you can barely do a few reps. You want to make sure that you can get a good amount of reps out and what I mean is between 8 and 12 reps that is the perfect intensity in order to build muscle so make sure that the intensity of the workout is to that sort of rep range and if you're going to hold an exercise you want to be aiming for anything between 15 and 30 seconds and that would be perfect anything out that outside of that guys is either going to be too easy or going to be too hard so you really need to make sure that you do not progress too soon as it promotes bad form and can encourage injuries as well. So how to avoid this mistake is to make sure you are patient with your progress. Find the exercise that is suitable for you, make sure you are absolutely killing that form and then stick to that until it is too easy and then progress. So mistake number three is I did not rest enough. So when I was trying to progress in a specific exercise, I was doing it every single day, which was the wrong thing to do. I needed to have rest in order to get stronger, in order to recover, to allow me to progress. I found this out by accident because I was training so hard. I was trying to do handstand push-ups. I was training really hard every single day, trying to do a handstand push-up and I think I'd managed to get three out and that was my best. I then went on holiday for five days. I, had, I kept a good diet, but I didn't train for five days. And when I came back, I was able to do eight reps. So it just shows the difference that if you allow, allow your body to recover, you'll be able to do a lot more. So do not try and force it too much. Make sure that you complete your workouts to a high intensity and then allow your body to rest. For me personally, I know I need to leave my each muscle group um, three or four days rest. Anything less than that, and I know I will struggle, but that is each their own. Try four days. If you find that you're too rested after four days, then reduce it. Take it down to three days. Take it down to two days. You may find that you can train a muscle group every two days because your body will recover that quick. It really is something that is specific to yourself. So make sure you take the time to understand how much rest your body needs and I promise you that your workouts will benefit from it. So those are my three top mistakes. I shouldn't call them top mistakes, it should really be bottom mistakes, but those are my three mistakes that I have made when doing body weight training or training in general. So I hope it's been useful. If you found it useful, please give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, 
I'm releasing videos three times a week all about body weight training and how I can help you to get that body that you really want without having to go to a gym and by using very minimal equipment. So if that sounds useful for you, please check out my other videos, hit the subscribe button, and I hope to see you soon.